Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use an Xbox One controller with PS4 Remote Play. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. This is going to be great for anyone who wants to use a different controller, or maybe they're not really a fan of the PS4 controller and they want to try using the Xbox One. This is going to be perfect for you. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing I need to do is come to this link. Links are always in the description down below. And this is going to be for the Rewast website. This is going to be a remapping software to trick our PC into thinking we're using a PS4 controller. So all you need to do is come to this link. Links are always in the description down below. It does mention here it's for an Xbox Elite controller. However, it will work for a normal Xbox controller. And I believe an Xbox 360 controller. In this case, all we need to do is come here, click download and download the software and then install it. In this case, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to be installing it again. It's a really straightforward process. But after you have downloaded this and installed the software, you are actually going to have to reboot your PC. And this is actually an important step. Once you've installed and rebooted, we're going to be opening up the app. We can do this by clicking on the start menu and we're going to be searching for Rewast, which appears right here. Click this open and then your app will open up. The first thing we're going to need to do is click on the burger menu on the top and we're going to be choosing a game. In this case, PS4 Remote Play will be here by default. Select this and then the layout should change to some view like this. From this point, we can then choose which controller or device we want to use. In this case, I have a keyboard selected and a couple of other things. What we need to do is select the Xbox One controller that's currently selected. And once you select your controller, you'll feel it vibrate. You can probably hear that on my desk right now and then you can see all the mapping for this controller you can click on each button here or you can click the button on the controller itself and you'll see what it's mapped to the current settings if it will rumble or not if you want to unmap it and a couple of different things and you'll see exactly how it's set up we can then click on the gamepad mapping option right here which we can open up and choose which button you want it to be mapped to of course, then you can unmap it and assign it to everything else also. But for me, everything here seemed to work just fine. So I didn't have any issues in regards to that. Now, one thing I will mention for those of you with an Xbox Elite controller, you can refer to the back of the controller right here as well. So if you do have extra paddles, they should show up here also. And you can remap those to how you want. And you can also see the back two triggers. Once you're happy with everything, you can simply click apply. You may hear a connection sound in your windows. That means your controller is now remapped to a PS4 controller, which we're going to be using then for PS4 remote play. From this point, we have our controller set up. All we need to do is open up the PS4 remote play app, and then we're going to be connecting to our actual PlayStation 4. You can see it already knows I have a PS4 controller connected up. So it says press options to connect the controller. In this case, I'm just going to be pressing the start button on my Xbox controller as it's mapped to the options on the PS4 and then your PS4 remote play will connect. From this point, you can see I move with my Xbox One controller, everything works. I'm just playing some Red Dead Redemption 2 here. Even clicking the menu button or the PS4 controller button works here, even though on other free versions I've seen this doesn't work or did not used to work. And it is a nice feature of this app. Everything seems to work just fine. And as long as you have a decent internet connection or are okay with turning down the qualities to get a smooth frame rate, everything seems to work here. Now that everything is connected and everything works, there is one other thing I want to mention about this software. And the Eagle Eyes among you probably seen this as well. There is a trial license, sadly, in this software. So currently there's only 14 days left on this. However, you can buy this software. It is relatively cheap. If we click on the key button on the bottom right, you will have the option to buy this software. It currently costs five euro for the software itself, although it seems like it's currently on a sale. Or if you buy any of these features, you get the software for free. So depending on what you actually want, you can get this for around five or six euro. But if you're gonna use this a lot and you like using the Xbox One controller, it might be a great option for you guys. I will keep an eye out for other free options in the future. However, all other ones I tried didn't seem to work that well or were very tricky to get set up. This seems to be the nicest so far. Even though the user experience is a little bit confusing, it does work pretty well. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to use an Xbox One controller on your PS4 remote play. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time as always, keep it saucy. Peace.